hey girl <laughs> oh my gosh i know there's a lot going on and you can tell by my face that i was not having it but this is the result of not taking care of my hair for over five weeks so i just had a baby and um yeah it's been rough um, it's been rough and sometimes, you know, when you're going through a hard time, it can reflect in your appearance, uh, for me and my hair, especially because my hair is just a lot. And today was a day that I was just like, okay, I need to pick myself up and do something about this. So I went ahead and detangled and washed my hair and took care of my hair and all of that. Um, and it made me feel so much better. So definitely keep on watching to see what's been going on really in my life as a mom of two young children. So here I am sitting really, really stressed out and super sleepy. It was currently um, nine o'clock in the morning, something like that. I just dropped off my oldest daughter, Amari. She's three years old. I dropped her off at school and the baby was still sleeping. So I was just like, okay, just let me fix this mess because my hair is so bad at this moment. Okay. So, so bad. I haven't detangled my hair in almost six weeks and my baby at that time was almost six weeks so <laughs> i neglected my hair so much because i was just like not in the state of taking care of it um it's been rough you can see the knots they formed into locks I cannot reach my scalp. My The back of my head is just one big knot, one big dreadlock. So it's, it's bad. So never judge a book by its cover because you don't know what's going on in someone's life, right? I'm not going to say that I have like postpartum depression and super dark thoughts and all of that. But I did have like the baby blues, which is completely normal after giving birth. Like the first few weeks are just like super strange your body doesn't feel the same anymore you're not pregnant hormones all over the place and my birth experience like when i gave birth it was a mess it was traumatic to me personally because i had another c-section this is my second c-section and this one was under general anesthesia so it was definitely a whole procedure major abdominal surgery and it definitely took a toll on me um i had to take some time off especially off social media to accept everything what happened how it happened and yeah and mind you while processing everything mentally which is already heavy i still had to take care of a newborn baby <laughs> you know the, the, the baby has to be fed every two to three hours i was breastfeeding and um on, besides that i also had to recover from a c-section girl that's very intense you know the surgery they cut through nine layers in your belly through abs through your uterus through nerves and then they put it all back together after the baby is born so imagine how painful that is so the recovery was very heavy also because i have a toddler she is three years old she's very active and she's very needy and she needs attention and love and care and everything which is completely normal right but you know with taking care of a newborn and a toddler and recovering from the c-section girl it was a lot you know but fortunately i was not on my own the whole time besides my man I had like a village of people around me that can help me with small things, big things, you know, taking care of my other kid um, or just coming to my house and help to clean the house, do laundry, take care of the baby a little bit so I'm able to take a shower. <laughs> you know, small things really help as a new mom and that definitely makes a difference. I know there are a lot of people that do it on their own. I do it on my own also most of the times, but you know, when I ask for help, there's always help available. And I think that's the reason why I'm not in a full deep depression because I was still to a certain extent taking care of myself a little bit by 
getting rest while I can um, and eating something or cooking a healthy meal because I was breastfeeding at that time, exclusively breastfeeding. I'm still breastfeeding, but now I'm substituting daytime feedings with formula. So other people can, you know, give her her milk as well because I have to go back to work, right? Oh, the baby's crying. This is my alarm, time to go. <laughs> So this whole process of detangling my hair took me hours. Oh my gosh, girl, it took me at least five hours to fully detangle my hair because, you know, I had to take several breaks to feed my daughter. And um, yeah, on top of that, detangling my hair was extremely, extremely painful because of the knots. You can see my face the whole time. It was, oh, it was so bad. So I will never put myself through this again <laughs> i will definitely make sure that i try to maintain a healthy hair routine no matter how i feel i just have to have to try to take care of my hair a little bit better than this <laughs> but you know it is what it is it's okay i'm not gonna bash myself for letting it become this bad um it is what it is you know So yeah, this was my reality at that time. Um, bad timing. <laughs> While I was doing my hair, I just wanted to get this done so quick, but that was definitely not the case. And my baby started to get fussy. She just wanted to be held, you know, and you cannot spoil a newborn baby. A newborn baby needs all the love and attention possible. So I just had to put her in my baby carrier so she's close next to me the whole time and she can fall asleep uh, while feeling, you know, the comfort of my body heat and my heartbeat and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, um, it was a struggle. <laughs> it was definitely a struggle because I was trying to not get product on her face and everything, not get water on her face, not get my dirty dandruff on her face. It was definitely a struggle and it was very heavy as well. You know, my arms, this was just a workout on itself literally because now with the baby it's extra heavy and whoo girl i was having a tough moment but honestly after a few hours i was super super happy to be done with it for a moment there i was not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel i was starting to feel down again because my hair was so bad and i was so tired but after a few hours this was the result and i couldn't be more happier even though like my face is very neutral on the inside i was just like celebrating because this is a win for me this is an achievement trust me if you're in a sad place doing something like this for yourself feels so good like while taking care of myself while taking care of my newborn i also took care of my hair and that definitely motivated me to do better from now on and this was all the shedding that I had from past weeks, which is surprisingly not that much because I know postpartum shedding is real. I had it with my first daughter and it was very bad. Like I didn't have a hairline anymore. So I was just like, okay, let's see what the future holds because I know it will worsen over time. So my baby was sleeping. I put her down and this is the next day. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's the next day. Girl, I didn't have the energy anymore to film the rest of this video to do my whole wash day routine because I needed some energy left to take care of my baby and my other child for the rest of the day. So yeah, it was definitely a no for me. But now is finally the time to clarify my scalp and hair. And I'm going to use my Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. This has um, apple cider vinegar in it and African black soap. So it's one of my favorite shampoos to make sure that all the dandruff gets lifted off my head. And the product buildup gets removed because it was extremely needed. Like my hair was very dirty. I could literally scrape off the dirt of my scalp. 
that's how dirty my hair was and my scalp was so yeah i'm going to use my fingertips to thoroughly cleanse my scalp and hair and later on i'm going to use my scalp massager as well also to get the blood circulation going uh because i don't want to have <laughs> a ton of hair falling out so i just want to make sure that no I, my scalp is healthy right so yeah definitely shampooing my hair strands and my scalp several times so my hair is squeaky clean So obviously I'm gonna do a deep conditioning treatment because if I don't do this right now, girl, my hair is just gonna break off. And I'm gonna use my Mish Moisturizing Deep Conditioner and this is a very thick and luxurious deep conditioner that I love a lot. The moisture is incredible. My hair always just drinks this up because it works extremely well. My hair feels super soft every time I use this stuff. So I let that sit for about two hours and this is how my hair looks right now. And you can see my curls are starting to pop again and started to look soft and they feel much, much better and it looks much better than you know, before, okay? Uh, I still have heat damage. I still need to cut that off. I'm gonna do that later on, but not today, okay? Today, I'm just gonna make sure my hair is well moisturized. So I'm gonna do the LCO method. Um, I'm gonna put some liquid in my hair. This is the As I Am Black Castor Oil Water to rehydrate my hair. And then I'm gonna use my As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. This has a ton of slip. It's super moisturizing. It has amazing ingredients in it. And I'm gonna apply a generous amount of that into this section and then I'm going to detangle it to make sure that all the product gets distributed throughout my hair and every hair strand gets coated with my leave-in conditioner. And to seal everything in, I'm gonna use my own DIY aloe vera and avocado whipped hair butter, okay? I've been using this stuff for a year now, something like that love it love it okay i have a full tutorial on how i made this stuff um i use it on my own hair I use it on my daughter's hair and the ingredients contain aloe vera butter avocado butter shea butter um, a ton of great oils and i whipped this to perfection so this seals in the moisture extremely well it's not too heavy it's just perfect oh my gosh it helps to grow out my hair because my hair just gets stronger every time i use this because the moisture is not going anywhere every time i apply this avocado and aloe vera hair butter on my hair but yeah definitely um let me know if you want to see more diy tutorials because i have a ton of diy products that i use on my hair that are super healthy and that make my hair grow grow okay and first i was like hmm let me do a, maybe a twist out or a braid out or maybe just put some cornrows in my hair but then i was like hmm, nah i'm just gonna put my hair up in a bun <laughs> but at least my hair is moisturized okay this is the most unsatisfying end result ever because i'm just gonna put my hair up in a bun i'm so sorry for that but that's just what worked worked for me at that time um you know my hair was out of the way but my hair was clean detangled moisturized and everything so it just made me feel so much better okay so this video was filmed like two weeks ago and now like I'm starting to feel better again. I'm just starting to realize I am a great mom and I'm doing amazing and I do the best that I can for my children um, and everything's just gonna be okay. I take it day by day. I don't set the bar too high for myself, but at the same time, I know if I'm good mentally and physically, everyone around me will be good mentally and physically. So that's currently the focus point of my life to get my body back to get my mindset right and just do the damn thing okay if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like these ones let me know down below thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one bye